Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to show you how I hand paint little detailed drawings on nails. And this just so happens to be the red bandana set that I have on my Instagram page. Um, so for this set, originally we were going to do exactly like the inspo photo which is a full hand of hand painted bandana nails however this girl had a ride and her poor ride i'm like i do not want her waiting any longer than she has to so for this design i really i can't even stress this enough i did not have the materials to do this design i had regular gel polish which is okay but usually there's like better types of gel polish for hand painted designs and then the other thing is i really didn't have like a detailer painter brush like the one that i'm using came in, like in this video the one that i'm using in this video came in a opi kit a year ago um and it's just so half-assed um but now i have like nails by dev her famous liner brush and that is a total game changer i can't wait to record another video doing something similar with this um, but with a different liner brush because it will just show you how easy it really is to do it with the right materials but so just with this first nail it just like takes so much time and effort obviously to do hand painted designs you have to have plenty of patience and you have to understand angles and texture and speed. There's a lot that comes into play when you do like really small hand painted designs like this. So I guess the more, instead of this video being like a teaching video, like this is how you do this, this is pretty much more for like the satisfaction aspect because yeah, I'm two times art college graduate. This took me a long time to learn how to hand paint. First, just hand paint in general, and then hand paint to this level of a scale. Yeah, it takes a hot minute. Definitely a few years of experience worth of painting. Not to toot my own horn, but for those of you that want to just jump into really tiny hand painted drawings on nails, um, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> But, so what I pretty much do is, for those of you that like at least want to try this uh, method like this, is I cure the polish in between. So I use white gel polish. I always start with my lightest because it's easier to add a little bit of black than it is to add a bit of white on top of black. Um, so I always start with the lightest color first and then I go in with a darker color. I always cure in between because if you make a mistake, you can just wipe off the one color. It's like pressing the undo button on Photoshop when you mess up once. Um, yeah, if only life was really like that, but it's not. <laughs> so I'm like, cure in between your coats. Or if you're like halfway done with the black part and you don't want to mess up the other finger or something, just cure in between. It's, it's so worth it then to mess it up. So it's interesting, whenever I see like photos or a client comes in and they show you a photo and you look at it and like the person that is showing you the photo looks at that photo differently than what you see. So when you look at that photo, it's like you have to distinguish what that person likes that is showing it to you. You can't just say, oh, this photo, I'm going to recreate this photo. No. You have to recreate that photo in a way that that person's gonna like it. You can't just put whatever on anyone's nails like you can, but it's not gonna be special or exciting. So with this set, what we decided is that the thing that she liked the most was that there was the bandana theme, right? So I wanted to still make it a full bandana moment without you know, taking away from it. 
by having to do like one hand all gloss or one hand matte, one hand bandana hand. So what we decided to do is she's never had glitter nails. She's never had chrome nails. No, she did. She had chrome nails once. Okay. But like she never had matte nails. So for her thumb, we did a matte nail. For her index finger, we did a chrome nail. For her pinky, we did a glitter nail. I wanted her to want to have some fun with it so she could say that hey I've tried all these different styles and I know which one I like best hand painting very small detailed things on fingernails is very tricky because it is not a flat surface and if you're an artist that wants to be a nail tech uh, just view it like sculpture because it is not like painting this is a sculpture thing so in the photo with the bandana nails, I quickly realized that there was literally no possible way to get every single little detail that I really wanted because I didn't have the right materials or tools for it. So what I did is I did kind of like my own little freestyle version where I looked at the photo and I picked out the nails that I thought stood out the most. So, and also I wanted to do the designs that I knew that I could do and replicate properly. So not only did I do the ones that I thought represented the bandana the most iconically, but I also did the ones that were the most realistic for me to complete with the tools that I had. And I think that's what at the end of the day makes a nail design successful is not just trying to directly duplicate what's in front of you but be able to use the materials that you have to the best of your ability to maybe accomplish something even better than what they're showing you um oh so this is just the final touches where i'm putting on the top coat and i really believe that top coat makes it so much better like just evening out everything makes it a million times better. Oh, it really does look so much better from this angle. One from this angle looks awesome, and then two, being able to see the full process from start to finish of hand painting something, I must say, is extremely satisfying and super cool. I am just so obsessed with these nails. I definitely have to do more videos with hand-painted nail designs because I think they are just so cute and so fun. Oh my gosh. So it's funny, actually, this cuticle oil was super low anyways. And actually, that in that one of those last shots, I accidentally touched her with the tip of the cuticle oil wand and I literally gave her the rest of the cuticle oil because I'm like, you know, after you touch someone's skin with it, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please come again for the next video. Everything's been so great. Follow me on Insta. Love you. Bye.